Um, these are some photographs that uh, I took. This explains probably why you were probably in none of them. I'm in none of these, <laughs> no. So this is the rehearsal room in Acton, mm -hmm. and we're rehearsing the episode where Hugh gets called apart in front of the uh, select committee. Oh, right, so that's episode six, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're by then we're all quite relaxed and know each other very well. As you can see. As you can tell by the fact that all of us are looking away from each other. We didn't know you were doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ask our permission? No, no. Oh, no. uh, well, there you are, you see, it's typical. So, ah. it's oh, like, now we go to colour. Is that the same day? It must be. It must be, yes, there's each. Yeah. Two. I had two Fiona Matheson. You had two cameras. Plays Claire Ballantyne. That's right. Yes. And there's James with no socks on. Oh. Must have been the summer then. Mm -hmm. Very there actory, there. Yes, come straight from the cricket pitch. Yeah. Oh, cricket. Oh, yeah. So this are. is uh, after, I guess, we, we've we've had a read at it. That's right. And then we've, we we tend to then just we don't rehearse every scene, but we take a few key scenes and and rehearse them, and then put the scripts down. And um, mm. you're looking very dynamic, Armando. In this <laughs> one. This yes. is Amanda you, look, you look like Peter Brook. Oh, right. Directing but, but he's 80. He's saying, so, well, I rest saying, my case. <laughs> I want um, a beard this long. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, ah, this is the committee. This is, the, this, this is yeah. a rehearsal of the committee. Well, yeah. this is actually the kind of picture I like because, of course, the scene is, it's very clear what the scene is. Yes, uh, yes. when you see it. But this is us all, you know, in our casual actory Got gear. Tony in the background being a member of the public. Yes. And, and Adam. Adam. And um, Cordelia. That's yeah. right. And this is the reverse of that. Ah, the reverse. Ah, yes. You've crossed the line. Yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> uh, but as you recall, this improvisation went on for a long, long time. A long time. Well, it did, yes. And when we shot it, it went on for a long yes. time. As well. That's a lovely picture of Cordelia. She's quoting something from the paper. She hated movies. any swear word, didn't she? <laughs> Especially any sexual swear word. She couldn't oh, bring dear. herself. If if we if Cordelia was the first assistant, first way, assistant, and and if yeah. it was like oh tell them to go from fuck this for a game of soldiers, yes. she she couldn't say it. She yes. couldn't say she go. Could you go from the line where the soldiers are referred to? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Tony. There's Tony and there's Chris Portrait. Addison asleep, yes. listening to Tony. Obviously, <laughs> Tony relaxing. Uh, there. Tony's and Tony is the uh, just just to confirm. Uh, it, I've traced the source of uh, yeah. "Come the fuck in" of "Come the oh, fuck in." Ah, oh, 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 Tony! Congratulations, yes. Tony! Yes. He has actually he, he contributed. I'm asked, tonight. To, <laughs> I'm asked to say that all the time. <laughs> Two weeks in black all, all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, that's oh, all right. Here we are now. We're, now yeah. we're actually filming this mm. episode. Mm. This is um, in the media building, that's the media right. centre. So this is like officially the uh, the new headquarters that they moved to. to Dosak. Yeah, but it is actually. The BBC's BBC uh, Media Centre. Media that's, Centre. That's how little money we have. And they come running around after us wherever we go. Uh, ah, uh, Chris May has arrived. Ah, uh, right. He's yes, so he's, um, <laughs> then he was location manager. Yes. And But in the last one, he became our first AD. Yeah. yeah. Uh, part are, builder. See, he's part builder. The greasy pole. <laughs> and so there's Cordelia with her two camera camera persons. Yes. Look how young they are. Ben and Jamie. Indeed. And Ben. Young and fit. This is Chris telling a story about something. It's a yeah, nice one of holding you, everything up by yeah, <laughs> another <laughs> anecdote. Well, we which to we can do without, but <laughs> another terribly amusing. <laughs> Be very funny. <laughs> do I look? I look like no. This expression thinking, in your face. Oh, I've got fifteen um, scenes still to shoot. <laughs> isn't this Chris asking if he can have tomorrow afternoon off because he's got tickets for Wimbledon? We are probably. That's yeah, right. There that's was a right. moment. Yes, wasn't there was um, a yeah. day. <laughs> and then you're looking at the schedule to see if you to can see give whether him he could. Yes, and you realise yes, we can. So this is you directing again. Uh, yeah, I know. I you do a lot sometimes of did it. Don't yeah, you? yes. Now you and Chris had to walk up and down a lot of the stairs. stairs. In that we did. Yes. 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 Our, yes. our whole you look so tired. relationship is based on stairwells. Mm. Where is that? This is very Jamie. artily uh, exposed. It's, it's, it's very it's badly exposed. exposed. <laughs> oh, well, yes. I, I didn't want to say. That's what it is. It's this is from the 1950s. Yes. I, uh, I apologise for these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but here's oh, James in our dressing room. This is surrounded by the news. This is this is where we, the actors, had to change. Yes. And it is a, an open plan office with glass and windows, newspapers which the production up. department have very kindly put newspapers up <laughs> to. This to is why I wanted a Winnebago. You can see <laughs> Do you now, see that I, you as, know. in some way, a metaphor? I think, yeah, this is what you <laughs> know. I this is quite like it. I think it's quite good that we're all in there, and I think we quite enjoy news. it, don't we? It's, oh, it's yes. A, wrapped in yes. the media. Yes. So, what you're saying is, if all else fails, you could get a job as a paparazzi. <laughs> is that what you're saying? 
<laughs> they're awful, but that's the best. And, and if you're still famous, you can you can get a job as a paparazzi taking photos of yourself. Good idea, yeah. Cut out the middle Because you would always have access. You would always know where you were. And, <laughs> I could wait for myself. You could outside stand, yeah, you could stand by your own house. Stand yes. outside your own house. Absolutely. Waiting for you to come out. 